Hey everyone, so today we're going to be doing a lot of hip opening. Um, here's my puppy Happy. <laughs> You've seen him from last week, so he's getting bigger and he's going to probably try to bite me through my yoga poses here. So let's everybody come to a seated position. Just loosely cross at your ankles. No. Raise your arms up overhead, interlace your fingers together, stretch up. And bend over to the right side, opening up on the left side of your rib cage, and coming back, and then to the left. And come back, and lower your arms down, interlace them behind you, and open up that front side of your body. Take a deep breath in, and exhale. Take a deep breath in, and exhale. So let's go ahead and flatten our feet like this and grab a hold of um, your feet from your heels with the web of your hands between your thumb and your index and just see if you can um, rotate your hips side to side, side to side, just seeing how much range of motion you have within your hips. Just sitting like this might be enough for you. And if it is, Let's press our knees back with our elbows. Bring your hands into a praying position and press back. And that might be just enough stretch. And as you push your hips or knees out, I want you to pull up and out and rotate your body forward to go into your hips. So you should be feeling a nice taut stretch into your hips like that. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Take a deep breath in and exhale. And slowly pull the soles of your feet together so that they line up or they face each other. Sit up nice and tall. Those of you who can't sit like this, feel free to place like a block under your sits bones to raise up your pelvis to create more room into your hips. Not everybody has the range of motion in their hips like this, but it's something worth working towards because it really helps to um, keep our joint mobility nice and open to decrease the inflammation into the joints. Because as we talk about, a lot of us um, fall into the trap of potentially getting arthritis into our hips. So all I'm doing is flopping my wings, like knees up and down towards the ceiling. And then I'm going to pull them down, sitting up nice and tall. I'm going to hinge forward, leading with my chest, trying to keep my knees down as much as possible. And that's a deep stretch into my hips. Taking a deep breath in and exhale. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Take a deep breath in and exhale. I'm going to straighten out the right leg pull my left ankle into my crouch and leave my right toes up straight up and bringing the toes towards me. I'm going to raise my arms up overhead and then I'm going to turn my torso to line my torso up with my right leg and hinge forward and grabbing the foot, the right foot from the balls of my feet pulling it in, and that should be a nice stretch on the back of my right thigh as well as on this right side into my right hip, or left side into my left hip. Take a deep breath in and exhale. If you don't have this kind of range, staying up here is just as well. Just try to center your torso towards that thigh and then Bend your elbows down, leading with the chest, and that should be sort of the same stretch. Coming back, opposite leg, so right heel into the groin or the pubic bone, sitting up nice and tall, how to set up this way, and then I'm going to turn my torso towards my left leg, hinging forward, leading with my chest, and again, I'm rooting down into my right hip, feeling a deep stretch into my right hip, grabbing a hold of my foot, stretching into the left leg, the back thigh, as well as into my right hip and the side body over here. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Take a deep breath in and exhale. 
coming back and I'm going to place my feet down. This is a challenge for you. Ultimately, it's always nice to work towards something. Not many people can come from a seated position like this onto your feet into a standing position. So that's something worth looking at. And that's a functional mobility. You need enough range of motion into your ankles, in your knees, as well as your hips. Things like that we're able to do when we're younger, but as we get older, especially with lupus or any autoimmune conditions, we lose the mobility into our joints. So that's something to remember. We're going to go into our pigeon pose or a stretching into our hips. So we're going to raise our arms up overhead, fold forward from your hips, bending your knees slightly. Take a deep breath in, pull up and out of your chest and step back with the right foot and left into down dog, pressing firmly through all five fingers. And I'm just going to alternate bending your, uh, my knees side to side, stretching into the backs of your legs. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Take a deep breath in and exhale. I'm going to then step forward with my pinky side of my right foot and place it right between my hands. And I'm going to come onto the top of my toes on my left foot. And I'm going to go up and down, easing into my right hip, up and down, up and down. If you don't have a whole lot of range here, that's something you can work on. And perhaps bringing this foot closer to your pelvis, like down here, that'll create a lot more, a lot easier range of motion into that hip. Do the best you can and make sure that you're not feeling any pain. Just a little stretch is a good indicator, but no pain. Up and down. And I'm going to stay down this time. And I'm going to walk my foot across my hands, like so. Again, you can bring the heel closer to your hips so that it doesn't stretch too much into your hips. You're going to stay here and breathe into that right hip. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. And take a deep breath in. And exhale, walk your hands forward, pull your hips down over that right shin, and see if you can situate your upper torso square over your right hip and your shin. Take a deep breath in and exhale. It's just a very intense stretch into my right hip. And the more you can relax into your body, the more you can stretch into that area. Deep breath in and exhale. Coming back, gently press down through the palms of your hands. Tuck your left toe down and pushing off into the pinky edge of the right foot. Step the right foot back into down dog and let's just reset here. Alternate bending your knees side to side. Side to side. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Gaze forward, step the left pinky edge of your left foot between your hands. Go up and down, up and down. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and down, and go across. Again, like I said, pull your heel closer to your torso if you have to, or your hips, sorry. And take a deep breath into your left hip and walk your elbows forward. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Take a deep breath in and exhale. I'm trying really hard to keep my torso square over my left shin as well as into the left hip and easing down. This left hip is always a trouble spot for me, so it really feels a lot more intense than it did on the right side. So you'll always have that one side. So think of it as when you're able to move into those hips that you're lubricating those joints in a way that they need. 
So we're going to tuck our right toe uh, under, press up into through the left pinky side of the foot, and then step that foot back. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Let's just do some squats into this down dog. Bend your knees down and press back. There's one, down, and back to three, and four, and five, six, seven, and eight. And then I'm going to go all the way down into child's pose. Sinking into my hips, and I'm going to just sway my hips side to side so that I can sink deeper into my hips. Take a deep breath in, and as I do so, and I'm stretching my arms all the way forward up above my head, I'm creating this nice traction and swaying my hips side to side to get a little bit more stretch into my hips. Take a deep breath in, and exhale. Take a deep breath in and exhale come all the way up into a seated position i'm going to go ahead and do a wide straddle here sitting up nice and tall do the best you can and if it's impossible for you to keep your knees straight feel free to go ahead and bend them i'm going to keep them straight take a deep breath in and exhale i'm going to lead with my chest trying to keep my toes up toward the ceiling i'm pulling the toes back as I roll forward into my hips. Taking a deep breath in and exhale. Take a deep breath in and exhale. <laughs> Take a deep, <laughs> deep breath in and exhale. And walk all the way back. And let's go ahead and pull the knees or feet together and just shake them out, give them a lot, nice pat. I hope you enjoyed the sequence on this Tuesday, and I hope all of you guys had a great Labor Day weekend. I'll see you guys next week.